take it. Kleiner's second law is there is a time when panic is the appropriate response. <laughs> and we've reached that time. Better biofuels are a really big deal. That means we can precisely engineer the molecules in the fuel chain and optimize them along the way. So if all goes well, they're going to have designer bugs in warm vats that are uh, eating and digesting sugars to excrete better biofuels. I guess that's a better living through bugs. Alan Kay is famous for saying uh, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. And of course, at Kleiner, we kind of apologize and say the second best way is to finance it. And that's why we're investing $200 million in a wide range of really disruptive new technologies for innovation in green technologies. And we're encouraging others to do it as well. We're talking a lot about this. In 2005, there was $600 million invested in uh, new technologies of the sort you see here. It doubled in 2006 to $1.2 billion. But I'm really afraid we need much, much more. And the federal budget calls for a measly $20 million of R&D in geothermal energy. It is almost criminal that we are not investing more in energy research in this country. And I'm really afraid that it's absolutely not enough. I can't wait to see what we testers do about this crisis. And I really, really hope that we multiply all of our energy, all of our talent, and all of our influence to solve this problem.